Welcome back to my channel, So Much To Wear. My name is Nikki, and if you're new here, I am a part-time reseller on platforms like Poshmark and Macari, and I'm also a DIY thrifter. That means I like to go shopping, looking for things that need a little extra TLC, and then I fix them up and sell them online to make some money online. Resellers, whether you're on Poshmark, Macari, eBay, or Amazon, all have different backgrounds, different types of careers that they're coming from. Personally, I came from doing investigative journalism for 10 years, so I decided on this YouTube channel to start a new series that kind of uses those skills and helps benefit the reselling world. So what I'm going to do is a series I'm going to call Reselling Fact or Fiction. I'm going to take rumors and strategies and just things people are saying about reselling as far as what helps sales, what makes more sales, test them out, see if they're true, see if they're false, see if there's something that can really help us make as much money as possible. So if this is content that you think you'd be interested in, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button and leaving me a comment too below if there's something that you've heard that you would like to see me test out and do a video about. But let's get started in this video. We are going to start this whole fact or fiction series off with a battle of the platforms. I'm talking about Poshmark, Mercari, and Vintage. Okay, here's why I'm doing this. I've heard for a long time people say that Poshmark is a better platform for some of the higher dollar items, that you'll get more from your sales that way, that that's really kind of the fashionable shoppers, where Mercari is more of a garage sale app where anything goes, but you also can expect to get lower profit margins and mall brands go quickly on that app. And the reason I'm trying out Vinted is I had seen on a Facebook page for resellers, a couple people said that Vinted was doing really well for them. So I decided to give that a try too. We'll see what happens. So here's what we're gonna find out today. Do you get more profits on Poshmark than Mercari? Do mall brands and cheaper clothes sell faster on Mercari versus Poshmark? And third, is Vinted a good app to resell on. Is there a lot of activity on Vinted secretly? And to start this experiment, we have to rewind to two months ago when I had a big death pile of things that I needed to list to resell on Poshmark and Mercari. And I decided that's the perfect time to just see what happens because I had so many different types of things. So. <laughs> This is embarrassing. This is my clothing rack. I put that stuff back up there. It fell down and everything came down with it because there's so much stuff on it. I need to get this stuff listed. And I am overflowing with a bunch of stuff that I need to post. Procrastination kills my clothing rack. I gotta tell you guys that I've got a lot of legitimately cute things I'm gonna be posting that I just have been neglecting. Like look at this dress. This is from Zara. I have no idea which platform Zara will do better on, especially something like this. You know, it's got like a nice necktie. This is gonna be one of the brands that I am definitely interested to see what happens. And because it's super close to flannel season, I'm also gonna get around to listing some of the pieces that I made myself. So that'll give us a good idea of if you are upcycling things, what platform these sell the best on. And this, is a new with tag plus size item. I'm really curious to see how it does. It's a 2XL by the brand Flory Day, new with tags. I think that this will be super cute for fall, but it's not a brand I've heard of often, so I'm curious to see if anybody scoops it up, and if so, on which platform. Snip, snip. This is a good sign. Isn't this so rewarding to see all of these tags coming off? So after taking all of those pictures, I ended up with 80 different items to resell. And what's also important to note is this specific collection of things only was men and women's clothing. There was no shoes in this selection of things that I posted. And after this amount of time, 27 things have sold. And let's go through where what's sold where? On Poshmark, 13 items have sold. And on Macari... 14 items have sold. So this is a close race, as you can see. But when you're actually looking at the numbers, things get a little bit more interesting. On Poshmark, 13 items sold and total sales for that amount was 299. 
on Macari. 13 items sold. Total sales was 264. So we're getting an answer to one of our first questions because if you do the average sale price on Poshmark, that averages out to be $23 per sale. On Macari, the average sale price ends up to be only about $18 per sale. And what's also important to note is that I do offer a free shipping on Macari through Pirate Ship. So that total sales amount is going to include the amount that I had to pay for Pirate Ship shipping. Usually for me, that's no more than $3 because the things that I was selling in this case were all very lightweight, but that really kind of brings down the profits, as you can see. So significantly less profits on Mercari compared to Poshmark. But what I found is that does not mean that you can't sell expensive items on Mercari because what I found when I compared the two is there were a couple outlier sales that were higher price points. One example would be um, this gray Everlane sweater, this sold on Macari for $32. I did pay shipping, which is only about $3. And because they only take 10%, or they used to only take 10%, some changes have been made that increased that amount that they take. But that's a whole nother video. Um, at this point, I was only paying 10%. So I did make a pretty decent profit off of this $32 sale. I also did sell a Lulu's formal dress for $32 on Mercari it didn't get very much attention on Poshmark. For whatever reason, my Lulu's does a little bit better on Macari. So first, fact or fiction. Is Poshmark the place for more profitable and higher price sales? According to this experiment, that is a fact. The Poshmark average sale price was $23, where the Macari average sale price was $18, including shipping. But what I did notice here is that I was able to sell my men's Nike much quicker on Poshmark than Mercari. So for whatever reason, when it comes to athleisure brands, for some reason for me in my experience, Poshmark is the more popular platform for men's things like gym shorts and that kind of thing. And in comparison, over on Mercari is where I usually sell like the Nike women's gym shorts faster. Now, out of these 80 items, there was only two things that got competing attention about the same time on two different platforms. Um, so one example is going to be this Antonio Milani dress, which this brand doesn't usually do well for me, but I thought that this dress was really pretty and it sold really quickly, but got uh, offers on both platforms. Um, I received an offer for this on Poshmark and Mercari, but I was going to be making more money on Poshmark. So I went ahead and accepted the Poshmark offer. Something similar, but not as happy happened later on with um, a pair of Onzi. I believe that's a Onzi O N. Z-I-E, let me know in the comments if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. I had a pair of leggings from them, which I sold on Macari for not a ton of money because they weren't getting a ton of attention. And then the very next day, they had sold for full price on Poshmark, but I'd already mailed them out, so I had to cancel the Poshmark sale. But what that does tell me is, once again, more money on Poshmark than Mercari. One brand that performs really well as far as selling quickly for me, that's a mall, lesser expensive brand, is Victoria's Secret Pink. It sells quicker on Mercari, but it also does sell for me on Poshmark. I had this pink flannel that sold on Poshmark for, um, I think it was full price, so that was great. I often get offers on Macari for my Victoria's Secret pink, but those offers usually come in like a couple hours after I have it listed. So I can sell the Victoria's Secret pink things very quickly on Macari, but they will also sell on Poshmark. If, we're, if you're looking for a mall brand, if you're in a place where you can't find expensive things, Victoria's Secret pink right now anyways is a good brand to pick up because people are really loving it. They're loving their Victoria's Secret pink. One other thing I noticed from this is I do sell quite a bit of upcycled pieces. Um, an example would be these tie-dye flannel shirts. If you're wondering how I made these, I actually have a full tutorial video explaining the process, three different ways to do tie-dye flannel bleach shirts. I'm gonna link that right there. But I put these three up at the same time. One of them sold very quickly on Mercari. They all have gotten more attention on Mercari. I actually just sold the second one on Mercari yesterday, but then I got a canceled sale request. Oh, so annoying, you know, but the point is there appears to be more of a desire for like those unique 
handmade, hand upcycled tie dye, if that's what you're doing, or some other kind of upcycling, I find that those get more attention on Macari versus Poshmark. But I have also sold some of those pieces on Poshmark as well, so it's worth listing it on both of them. Second factor fiction is Macari more of a place for the mall brand cheap items. I would say that that also is fact, but there are some instances where you can sell your more profitable items on Macari as well. So you should just give them all a try because obviously what was selling the quickest for me is Victoria's Secret Pink, Nike, but I did sell some of the brands like Everlane is not definitely not necessarily your typical mall brand. It is cheaper. I guess it really depends on your, your school of thought. And finally, maybe you're wondering, what about Vinted? Didn't she say something about that? Well, um, I made a, I made a Vinted account and I listed 20 things. And I gotta tell you guys, this was a huge waste of my time. Because, um, yeah, I didn't make a single sale. And most of these things have already sold on other platforms. So, yeah, I would not recommend it if you're selling things that are similar to me. Um, just taking a quick look at my Vinted that I haven't even touched this for a while because I just was like, this is not worth it. Nothing is happening here. I do have a couple favorites, but even as far as views, like just 29 views, 24 views. And these things have been sitting on here for almost two months now. Um, yeah, that does not compare at all to how many people are looking at my items on a platform like Macari. All of the items on Vinted that have the most favorites are items that sold a long time ago on the other platform. So yeah, I would say it's a big waste of time for me anyways. But if I did something wrong, maybe it's my prices. I, I, I looked and a lot of the prices on there are really low. So it might be better for you selling your personal clothing rather than trying to sell clothes that you buy and are hoping to make some money off of selling online. So in my opinion, Factor Fiction is vented, an active app where a lot of sales are happening. No, not really. for me anyways is fiction. Well guys, thanks for sticking with me for this video. And like I said, comment down below if you have something that you want me to try out soon. One of my next videos is going to be talking about Poshmark sharing. There's been a lot of people recently that say Poshmark sharing isn't as important as people say it is. So I'm doing a test right now to see if I just stop sharing on Poshmark, but continue doing my listings, doing offers to likers, making bundles and communicating to buyers, what happens? So if you wanna see that video, definitely hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for that. And if you're also wondering more about how you can make more sales on Macari, if you're new to it, I have a whole video about the seven reasons that you are not making sales on Macari. I'm gonna link that down below so you can check that out. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have a great day.